Hi guys, welcome to Lipsai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, we will talk about how to monitor Docker metric using Prometheus and Grafana. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is Grafana and Prometheus. So what is Prometheus? Prometheus is an open source monitoring tool mainly used for metrics monitoring, event monitoring, alert configuration, etc. Prometheus is designed to monitor target, server, database, standalone virtual machines, and many more. So it is very useful, it's used very powerful query language called PromQL, right? And if we talk about the Grafana, Grafana is a free and open source virtualization tool that provides various dashboard, charts, graph, alerts for the particular data sources. Grafana allows us to query, visualize, and explore metrics and set alerts for the data sources. So in this video, we are going to monitor various Docker metrics using Prometheus and Grafana. So let's begin the lab session. Currently, you can see um, I have one Linux machine where I have already installed Grafana and Prometheus setup. So let me show you the OS release version of this machine and then we will take the Grafana console. So here, etc Red Hat release. etc Red Hat release. Currently, I'm using 9.2. And let me check the status of system CTL status. Prometheus, okay, it is active and running, and Grafana also. Status Grafana. See, it is active and running. Okay, so you can see now currently both services are running successfully. And uh, let me check the IP address of this machine also. What is the IP of this machine? Is forty dot one twenty eight. Okay, so um, in my case, Grafana and Prometheus both are in the same machine, but you can install on the separate machine also. If you don't know how to install Grafana, then please go to my previous video where I have already demonstrated how to install Grafana on Linux box. So start with the first step, which is access to Grafana dashboard. So let's hit the IP address on port three thousand. So let me copy this IP from here. I am on my Google. Okay, here it is. Let me change it and hit to three thousand. Okay, let me log in with admin user and password, which is the default. So, okay, I'm logged in. So, guys, this is my first Grafana dashboard. And let me first of all add the Prometheus data source. So, click on the data sources from here and select the Prometheus. The name is Prometheus. Okay, and now just scroll down. So, here we need to give the URL. So, uh, your URL in my case it is in localhost that in the same machine and the by default port is 9090 so if you have installed Prometheus on different machine then they give IP address of that node by default it's written on port number 9090 so just scroll down and go with the default option and just click save so I'll go with the rest of the default settings I'll just just click save and test okay successfully query the Prometheus API right so here I have successfully configured my data source that is Prometheus now move to the next step which is launch some containers on container on docker host and modify daemon.json file so i'm back on my vm so for that one let me move to my another vm where docker install and let me show you the os release version of that machine and docker version also so this is my another machine let me log in with root user first okay and uh, let me check the os release version os is also 9.2 and docker 5.0 version so you can see docker is also installed in this machine so if you don't know how to install the docker you can follow my docker playlist so now let me launch two new docker containers so docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name say web underscore server httpd okay so basically this command will download the httpd image from docker hub and make a new container named web server right similarly on the another tab I can run docker hyphen d uh, launch one more container from nginx say hyphen hyphen name uh, nginx 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 server from nginx okay so here you can see uh, images download that is going to start it and here let me hit one more so basically this command will download the image Mm. Oh, sorry, it's not for run. I just want it to run here. Okay. So currently it's not 
locally available so it's going to download from docker.hub and now we had to successfully download it let me close this tab and let it be downloaded first so pulling the image let them complete once both uh, container will be downloaded successfully we will check the image with docker image command and check the container status using docker ps command right okay now docker images here is the two image httpd and nginx and let's check the status of my container so docker docker ps a so currently you can see both are in drug up and running condition nginx server and web server so now what we need to do, we need to modify daemon.json file in order for Prometheus to gather the metrics of the docker, we need to add few lines in etc docker daemon.json files in the docker server. So let's copy some lines from docker official website and paste it in daemon.json file. So I'll back on my Google here. Let me go with the Google, sorry. Uh, so let me try to open Google and say what we need to search. We can search monitor uh monitor docker container sorry docker containers uh to say with prometheus with prometheus okay so i go with the first site that is doc.docker.com and here you can see if i scroll down to configure the docker daemon as prometheus target you need to specify the matrix address in daemon.json right so in Linux, you need to create this file or for Windows, you need to create that one. So let me copy this file. I need to make it. Let me copy and go back on my Docker machine. Here it is. Let me paste and create it. Sorry, successfully copied. Let me copy one more time. Okay, slash etc docker d-a-e-m-o-n dot json. So, uh, right now what we need to do we need to copy this few these few lines let it be copied from here or let it click on these two icon copy successfully right click and paste and we need to modify the metric address so it's 127 that's a loopback address or you can also mention 0, .0, .0, .0 that's localhost so now what what does it mean 9323 let's save and quit from here first of all so cat etc docker daemon.json file so they have clearly mentioned save the file or in case of docker desktop format save the configuration and restart the docker services so that means after after to saving this one we need to restart now docker now can expose prometheus matrix on port 9323 on the loopback interface right so 9323 is the port from where prometheus will gather the matrix so after adding this above spanja we need to restart the docker using system ctl system ctl restart docker command Sorry, Docker service. If everything is okay, should up and running condition. Yep, let's verify one more time. It should be active and running. Status. Yeah, active and running. Perfect. Now let me check Docker container uh, status one more time because I have restarted the services, so might be stopped. Yep, it's stopped. Let me start one container. So Docker start. Let me start with Nginx server. Okay. So if I go back docker ps a now you can see currently one nginx service is up and running condition and now currently one container is a running condition which one is nginx container. So we can check the IP address of this machine and then we will check the matrix. So what is the IP of this machine? IP of this machine is 131. Okay, cool. Let me copy this one and go back on here, put it here, call in. 9323 slash matrix. So if everything is okay, we can see the matrix. Yeah, here you can see the matrix. So now we can see the matrix that are available for us. Now move to the next step, which is modifying the configuration file of Prometheus. So I am back on my back on the Grafana server machine where the Grafana and Prometheus both are there. I'm back on my first machine, and now I need to tell about uh, this target for my Prometheus file also. So I'll go to the etc Prometheus Prometheus.yml and in the target section let me add the target. So let me close this older target. 
say 192.168. What is the IP of that machine? 40.131. Okay, the same IP. 40.131. Call in the back to port 9323.9323. Save and quit. So let me go with the tell command. Here you can see this entry I have successfully added in this file. And after that, do not restart. Forget to, uh, forget to restart the services from your PS. Perfect. So after adding the code, we can check our node as a target in Prometheus. It will take some time for Prometheus to gather all the metrics and display the state of node to in up condition. So how to check? What is the IP of this machine? IP is 40.128. So let me copy one more time. And I'm here. Let me remove this one and give the port number 9090. Yes. So here we have a up query, rest enter, go to the execute. And here you can see 192.168.40.131.9323. Right. So you can see the upper home is up and available. Now move to the final task, which is make a dashboard. So for creating the dashboard, go back on your Grafana, home, dashboard, add virtualization, visualization, sorry, Prometheus. Now, let me set the, uh, set the visualization chart first. So I'll go with the state, okay? You can go with anyone, not a big deal. Currently, I don't have any data for query. Let me search container status. So, engine daemon container status containers go with that one and run query okay sounds good so zero currently you can say zero is paused and one is in running and one is in stop right but it's not properly visual let me do some modification here let me give the first of all change the time hour range it's a last five minute and give the title say docker monitoring okay and if i scroll down go to the option and here we have legend so series name override or template uh, for example host name will be the replace with the label value of the host name so custom and say what to say state, state let's check the state yeah if i go with the state state will replace with the value paused running and stop right let it be apply and let it be save first so I'll save my dashboard, the new dashboard name and click on save. So here you can say the status currently it is zero, it's paused, one is running and one is stopping. You can. So you can, you can, you can change, you can modify your dashboard on the basis of your from query and we can get the desired result, right? So let me start another container because currently I have only one and we'll see what the effect happened here. Okay. So I'm back on my Docker host one more time. Currently, Docker PS, only one is in up and running condition. So, Docker start. And the next one is web server. As soon as I press enter, Docker is started. Currently, both two are running. And I'm back on my here. And let me change auto refresh time is five seconds. Okay. So, just wait for five seconds. Definitely, we'll get the result. So, within five seconds, it's updated, right? Okay. Hopefully, we'll get the result very soon refresh see two is running zero is stopped right so guys this is how we can monitor our docker metrics using prometheus and grafana and later on what we can do we can do modification go with the edit and do whatever you want you can modify the charts status option query and a number of things are there right so guys that's all about this demo i hopefully you enjoyed and learn new things and finally this is the end of this part and um, soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out through my social media links which is linked in the description and if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye